How do you feel about the Senate passing a trade law quietly, without any debate, unanimously? Well, that's exactly what happened this week in Congress, and I'm going to cover Chinese tariffs and trade law as it relates to Donald Trump and a bill that passed unanimously this week in Congress. Without debate, the Senate passed a bill to eliminate tariffs on steam irons, toasters, chemicals, and roughly 1,600 other items made outside the United States. A large portion of these items affected by this so-called miscellaneous tariff bill are produced in China, according to a Reuters analysis. This comes as the United States and China are in the midst of a trade war started when President Donald Trump announced a series of tariffs on Chinese imports. China fought back with a slew of duties on U.S. products. The White House hasn't said anything about this bill, though it has now been passed through both the Senate and the House. That means that after the two bodies iron out the differences, it will be on the president's desk to sign or veto, of course. We should definitely put this whole thing into context. The major argument is going on over free trade or simply not wanting to start a trade war to quote unquote fair trade or pretty much trade wars are another thing that America can win. In Bloomberg, Barry Ritzholtz, founder of a wealth management firm and chief executive at Fusion IQ, argued that the effects of Trump's tariffs have yet to come. Steel prices are up more than 40% since Trump said on March 1st that he planned to impose a 25% tariff on steel imports and a 10% levy on aluminum. That is a significant increase that has yet to be passed through to the consumer, but it will. And when that happens, potential risks to both the stock market and the economy increase dramatically. That's what he said, writing in Bloomberg, just this week. And this sentiment is echoed in a recently released paper by the Bureau of Economic Policy and Analysis in the Netherlands. This paper argued that we actually won't see the full impacts of this new cantankerous trade policy for another 10 to 12 years. But it seems as though the Trump administration is only just getting started. So Wednesday, President Trump seemed to have reached a deal with an EU representative to suspend tariffs and expand European imports of U.S. goods. The president and an EU representative pledged on Wednesday to lower some industrial tariffs and increase Europe's purchases of the U.S. soybeans and liquefied natural gas. It wasn't long after that President Trump took to Twitter to celebrate and turn his sights toward China. He tweeted, China is targeting our farmers, who they know I love and respect, as a way of getting me to continue allowing them to take advantage of the U.S. They're being vicious in what will be their failed attempt. We were being nice. Until now, China made $517 billion on us last year. We essentially have Congress going to bat for American businesses who don't want to be negatively affected by tariffs and perhaps wanting to avoid inflation on goods that many people rely on. The Trump administration is moving in the opposite direction, ready to implement a $200 billion duty on Chinese goods this month. What do you guys think about this bill? Do you have an issue with Congress doing this quietly and quickly? Because it seems to me that they did so because they don't want to be seen working against Trump's agenda. There are quite a few people running for office in Trump won counties in a little thing called the midterm elections this coming November. It'll be interesting to see how Trump responds to this bill. Comment below and tell me how you feel about this whole tariff situation. I'm Isaiah Thompson, and I'll see you next week on This Week in Congress.